Hello, it's me, and uh, today I'd like to make a tutorial about uh, this puzzle here, the Crazy Gear Cube. In particular, this puzzle uh, has uh, uh, the same number of pieces of a regular uh, Gear Cube, but uh, uh, this puzzle here is a Super Cube version of this puzzle here. What means this? If I have a regular uh, 3x3 by Trino, has this. And then uh, um, I modify the stickers of this 3x3 by applying uh, full um, uh, stickers uh, that will determine the rotation of my centers, I could have this puzzle here. This is a 3x3 by super cube. What means the word super cube? means that uh, this center has a specific uh, orientation. In fact, this line will determine that the, uh, the opposite face will be a blue face, this one oh yeah, a white face, this a green face, and this a yellow face. This center can rotate. And to solve uh, um, these centers, uh, I need to know uh, only two algorithms. The, the first algorithm that uh, uh, will rotate with 90 degrees two uh, centers, and the, another algorithm that will rotate only one center with uh, 180 degrees. But now, I want to put this shoe in this position. Uh, it's time to see this puzzle here. Which are the pieces uh, of my faces? So, as you can see, this face can rotate in this way. This puzzle can rotate in this way. The pieces that will rotate as a gear are hedges piece. While these pieces that uh, uh, don't rotate are center piece. In fact, when I rotate to a face of a, a, a gear cube, I have this kind of thing with the, the, these pieces that rotates, that are edges, and these pieces that are stationary, uh, they are uh, centers, no? So which is my face of this puzzle? I have this center piece, so all these parts are centers, the pieces that uh, do not will rotate. Then I have this, 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 and this that are edges, while this, 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 and this that are corners. So to solve a puzzle like this, I have to apply the same strategy of a, a gear cube, a regular gear cube, but uh, with this puzzle here we have, as you can see, these centers that could have a, a specific orientation. So it's a really uh, super cube version of this puzzle here. So now I want to scramble both these two puzzles and then you will see with me how to solve them. So now we have both these two puzzles full scrambled. How to start with a regular gear cube? I have to pair all the corners. So for example here I have uh, uh, orange, blue and white. So now I know, now I know that uh, in this side I need a orange, blue and the opposite of the white that is a yellow. So orange, blue and yellow. Orange blue and yellow that I have here. So I have to rotate this piece in this position and then it will be here. So rotating it here and now here. These two corners are now paired. And when these two are paired also all these corners will be paired. Now I want to proceed in the same way also with this puzzle here. Uh, so now I have to see this corner here is really really important for you to follow this uh, um, uh, three-sided corner. And I have to pair in uh, his right side a uh, uh, orange corner. So I see here, here. I see here that I have an orange corner that needs to be placed near to this. So I have only to rotate this face in this way. So now these two corners are paired. Okay? And when these two are paired, as in this puzzle here, all these corners will be paired. No panic. Also these pieces are paired. These are paired and these are paired, okay? Now, how to continue with this puzzle here? I have to place, uh, for example, these two oranges and I need in this side other two oranges that I have here. So I have to put them here and then here. So rotating them with this rotation and with this rotation. And all the corners will be solved in the top and in the bottom layer. Now I want to do the same thing for this puzzle. Now I know that uh, Near to these pieces, I need here a green piece, because it's in line with this, so it's a green and this white. These two pieces that I have here, green and white, so if I place them in this position, and then rotating it up in this way, uh, I'll have them uh, near to the position that I want. So rotating them with this rotation, placing them here, in this way, 
And now rotating them up in this way. Now I have these four uh, uh, corners that are in and these four corners that are in. Now, which is my next step with this puzzle here, I have to pair the two grains with these two grains in this way. So all the corners now are paired. Now I have to do the same thing also for this puzzle. So look at me, I have this shoe, this shoe. So now this face needs to be rotated in, uh, in this way. So I have to rotate uh, these pieces that are now paired, as you can see, in relation of the pieces. So in my case, I have the yellow that pair the yellow. So I believe that all the pieces are in, yes, in fact because I have the red opposite and I have an orange. So now I don't have to, to rotate the, the, the face that I have rotated in this puzzle. Now, which is my next step? I have to see the center. The center is in. The opposite will be automatically in. But in this layer, I see that these centers are not in. So I have to rotate them with one and two rotation. So the green pair the wind, the yellow the yellow, and etc. Okay, so all the centers are in. The same thing I have to do also with this puzzle here. Now in my case, this center is in, also rotated correctly. I see the, the orange, I see the, the green. So also the opposite will be in, in fact, as you can see. But in the middle, in the middle here, I need a, a white, red and green center. So this means that I have to rotate twice with one and two in this way. Okay, so now this is the correct center to place here. This is correct here, this is correct here. As you can see, all the centers are now in. Next step, I have to place the edges. I see that this green and white needs to be placed here and this white and the blue needs to go here. I have to apply this really uh, simple algorithm to exchange this shoe. I have to use a shoe har, you, shoe har and you. So these two pieces has been flipped and also this piece is in the middle layer has been flipped uh, this with the, the, the opposite one and this with the, the opposite one. So now that I have these pieces that are solved, I have to see in other case, I have, uh, for example, this piece that needs to go here and I want to exchange them. So when I have two opposite, I have to apply shuhar you, shuhar and you. Okay. And now I have in my case, this uh, uh, blue and yellow that needs to go here and this yellow and uh, green that needs to go here. So the opposite needs to be uh, placed. When this happens, uh, I have to uh, see when I have two pieces that needs to be swapped and in the middle layer, this piece will be here and will be solved and this piece will be here and the same thing for this and this. This two will be swapped. So now in this kind of uh, rotation of applying the last algorithm, the, all the pieces will be in. So doing a shuhar you shuhar you as you can see now all the edges are in because this has this has been flipped and this has been flipped and this has been flipped okay now I want to do the same thing also for this uh, crazy puzzle so I want to identify uh, when I have two pieces that needs to be swapped in my case this red needs to go here and this uh, uh, green and white needs to go here so I can apply uh, holding this uh, corner here um, I have to swap this two so this will be my uh, U that I have to rotate and this will be my R so I have to do two R I have to see this uh, uh, center when the uh, center is here, it's a rotation. So I have to do two R, then U. Here is another center. Then again, this is one, two R again. And finally, U. Okay? No panic with the centers. You can fix them. This piece is now in. This piece is now in between these pieces. And automatically, also, these pieces will be in. Okay? Now I have to see another case. So in my case, I have this piece that needs to go here. But I have to see also these pieces. In my case, here I need a yellow that I have in the opposite side. And the white is also that will go in the opposite side. And this piece will be here and it is where it will be correct. And this piece will be here. 
So this is uh, always the same algorithm that they've applied with the, uh, the gear cube that will change these two pieces, but these pieces will be changed in uh, uh, the opposite side. So now applying this last algorithm, so doing again, holding uh, this uh, corner in this side and looking this center, I have to do two R, then U, look in this center, two R, and finally U. Okay. Now, as you can see, all the pieces are in. So what I have to do uh, it's only to rotate. Uh, I see that this uh, uh, edge, this uh, edge here is flipped upside down. When I have one edge that is flipped upside down, uh, I don't have to uh, rotate his face. So yeah, I don't have to rotate the face of this uh, um, edge that is flipped upside down, but I have to rotate the face of the other parts. For example, uh, these parts that uh, they aren't upside down. So I want to only see if I rotate, rotate, rotate. In my case, in, questo, in this case, this piece is flipped correctly. Okay, so this layer is solved. Now, I want to see. So this piece is upside down. I want to rotate something else. I want to see. I want to rotate this side where I don't have the pieces that are upside down. I want to rotate. Only rotating the layers to uh, uh, make uh, flat the pieces uh, internal, as in this case here. So these pieces are all, all flat, as you can see. But uh, some of them needs to be swapped, uh, needs to be turned upside down. And I have the same kind of thing of this puzzle here. So as you can see, uh, this face and this face needs to be flipped upside down uh, in terms of edges. I have this layer that is called the standing layer that I have to hold in this side. So this will be my standing layer. This is uh, my middle layer and this is my equatorial layer. When you have in the equatorial and in the middle layer the piece that is swapped upside down, I have to do this really simple algorithm. I have to hold this corner and I have to do R U. R U R U. And as you can see, the pieces will be automatically in. Now when I do the same thing, so I have to uh, identify which is my uh, standing layer. In my case, it's this where the pieces are solved. And uh, I have to uh, change uh, the orientation of this layer, that is my middle layer, and my equatorial layer. Okay, so I have to apply in this way, holding this white uh, corner. I have to do R U. Then again, R U and R and U. Okay, but what I have here. This is now a case that never will happen with a gear cube. I have all the centers that needs to be rotated. How to fix this uh, case here? To solve this kind of uh, situation uh, that you have uh, seen also in my um, uh, hexagonal prism uh, gear cube uh, tutorial, I have to hold one corner as this, okay? So I have to hold a corner, a casual corner in this way. And I have to apply this simple algorithm. I have to see again uh, the, the center, when a center will be here is a rotation. So I have to do this algorithm here, I have to do R, then U, see this corner, then R I. U and apply this algorithm for three times when so I get doing again R U R I U and finally doing for the last time R U R I and U as you can see, now your uh, crazy gear cube will be solved, but you could have another situation like 
this. When you have uh, two opposite uh, centers or four uh, adjacent centers, that needs to be uh, rotated. This is another case that would happen with a, a super cube version of a gear cube. And uh, to solve this situation, you have to see this center that needs to be rotated. You have to see this center. It's really, really important to see this center. You have to place this center in the top and you have to apply the algorithm that is always RU, RIU twice. Okay, but this algorithm uh, needs to be applied looking this center. So I have to do, ah, I have to see this center. R, I have to see this center. U, I have to see this center. Ri, look in this center. U, look in this center again. Har, look in this center. U, look in this center. Ri, look in this center. U. Okay, now what I have caused, I have caused the rotation of this um, equatorial layer in terms of centers. So these centers in the equatorial layer are flipped upside down. And now I have all the centers that are rotated uh, upside down. So now for the first thing I have to uh, fix again these pieces that are uh, not placed. So I have only to rotate the pieces. So this piece is flat. Now these, we will rotate them. Okay. And now you will see that all the centers needs to be rotated. That is the, the case that I have shown you uh, before. So I have to apply the same thing, only holding now this corner. And I, I, now it's really easy to apply my algorithm that is R U R I U har U Harai U and finally Har U Harai and U. Okay? And then again this puzzle will be solved. Now I wanna show you another scrambling and then I can stop me. So we're gonna scramble again the puzzle. So this is now again the puzzle full scramble. Now when I pair the corners, I see that this orange corner needs to be placed here. Okay. Then all the corners are paired. So now I need in this position a white and green that I have here. So I have to rotate this side in this way and then up this way and then up. Okay. So now I have uh, all the mm, these corners that are in, but I have to rotate uh, nothing because this yellow is in. Now I want to see the uh, the centers. This center is in. This center is in. But in this layer, no. I have to rotate twice. Okay. So now I know that all the centers are in, as you can see. And uh, what? what what i have here in this case in this case i have uh, all the edges uh, that are in but uh, some of them that needs to be rotated so i have to apply the same algorithm before to swap them so in the first thing that i need to do is to follow this line as you can see uh, i don't have any of my pieces that are uh, upside down so i want to rotate only casually this face so in this case, this piece is in. Okay, so this layer is in. While this layer, uh, I have to rotate it only to see. Okay, now I have found the one piece is upside down. When this happens, you have to stop it to stop the rotation. This piece is rotated upside down, so I know now that uh, all these layers are uh, uh, rotated upside down. And all this layer in the bottom layer, 
this and this needs to be rotated upside down. So I have to put this uh, solved uh, pieces in the standing layer and I have to apply holding this uh, corner this really simple algorithm that is R look in the center then U then again R U and R and U okay so what I have here now I have another case where when I have only four uh, centers that needs to be rotated so you have to see again the top uh, center that is this and this four will rotate so this you will be maintained um, as before so this now is solved in, uh, in the end of the, uh, the algorithm it will, will remain solved while these four uh, centers will rotate so with one uh, application of the algorithm all the centers will be solved so I have to see again this uh, uh, top center here and they have to do R look in this center U then look in this center Ri, look in this center, U, look in this center, R, look in this center, U, look in this center, Ri, look in this center, U. And now you have only to see the centers that are all in, in this equatorial layer. So now you have only to rotate this gear because this piece is, uh, will only rotate as I want. So this is now solved and finally this layer here. And now, as you can see, the crazy gear cube will be now solved. I hope you have understood now how to solve a puzzle like this and only for now. Thanks for watching guys.